Hey everyone, I'm James. I'm a co-founder of Payload. If you haven't heard of us yet, we're a code-first headless CMS. We're closing the gap between what you might think of as a headless CMS and a full-on application framework. App frameworks like Laravel and Rails can be great at building out the backend for complex apps, but then you're stuck having to build the entirety of your admin panel completely by yourself, and that takes a bunch of time, especially when, when you want to do it right. On the other hand, headless CMSs are great at giving editors features like complex field types, layout building, drafts, preview, and more, but they're generally unusable or terrible at backend infrastructure. Payload gives you the best of both worlds. Out of the box, you get a fast, extensible REST and GraphQL API, and you also get the admin panel that's generated for you, but fully extensible. This is the payload demo. You can reach it by demo.payloadcms.com or you can check out the source code on GitHub because it's all open source. But we're obsessed with making sure that you don't have to learn another CMS. Instead, just write TypeScript. Our APIs are all dead simple and super predictable. We try not to black box away anything from you because we want you to know how your CMS works and we want you to be able to extend it however you need. We don't ever want you to hit a roadblock. So you can check this demo out. Um, it's pretty cool. You can see maybe just an example of like an enterprise CMS. You can see how the um, data comes back from the API. You can play around with the different collections that we have scaffolded out. Um, lots of power here, but um, let's just create a new project and I'll show you some of the cool stuff about Payload. You can actually get started completely from scratch with Payload just by yarn add Payload, but the fastest way to do that is with um, create payload app. So I'm gonna just CD over to my desktop and I'm gonna say npx create payload app and it's pretty easy. Okay, give ourselves a project name. Let's say intro payload. We're gonna use TypeScript. We're going to set up a blank project and we're just gonna use the default MongoDB connection. I have one already running locally so it's just going to connect to my local MongoDB. But you can also sign up for a Mongo Atlas account, which are free, and then they'll give you a connection string to enter here. But I have it local, so I'm just going to hit enter. And then just type some nonsense for our encryption key. And boom. Okay. Now that that was done, we can CD into our new folder. And run yarn dev. And that's going to pull up payload in our browser and then we can log in and create our first user. So I'm just gonna do dev at payload, create, and bam, we're up and running. By default, you get a user's collection with the first user that we just created, but we'll go ahead and add another custom collection and I'll show you some cool stuff we can do. One of the strongest parts about Payload is that we embrace code. Everything is done right in your repository. You write your collection configs, you scaffold out your schemas, and then you check them into your repo, you version control it, you sync changes across environments, staging, production, etc. Everything is just predictable and understandable because you write it. We embrace good, clean, organized code. And so to, to demonstrate that, I'm going to create a, another user's collection. We're going to call it customers. And with Payload, you can reuse every single part of it. So you can reuse Payload's auth in your own apps. You can reuse its APIs in your you know, native app, your website, whatever. It's all completely repurposable, and that's kind of what closes that gap between an application framework and a headless CMS. Whereas other headless CMS, you won't be able to reuse their authentication for anything outside of managing content. With Payload, you can. So let's create that customer's collection. I'm just going to quickly write it out. OK, there we go. Just another customer's collection. Authentication is set to true so that we're going to be able to log in with this collection type. We're going to, let's say we have a customers from our native app that we want to be able to log in with payload. And then it just has two fields. It's got a first name field and then a last name field. And we're going to bring it over into our top level payload config. Bam. And then let's check it out. So 
So back over into the payload admin UI, you can see that customers has automatically appeared on our dashboard. And if I click into it, I can now create a customer. And let's say this is going to be dev at customer dot com and test and test and then James Micro. That is me. Cool. Save it. And bam, we have a new customer right here. And I can actually log in with this customer from my own apps. I'll show you how that looks too. Okay, so we're going to do a couple things here just to demonstrate the API. Um, first, we're going to just try to get a list of customers, all the customers from the REST API. And by default, this is going to be locked down. But so I'm in Postman right now. I'm just going to send this request to slash API slash customers. And it's not going to let us see them because we're not logged in, right? You're not allowed to perform this action. But if I go over here as my login is customer to, it's a post request to API customers login. And I send in the body, the email and password here, test super secure password. Don't use that in production. And I send this request. It's a post to slash customers slash login. I can see off past. And it sets a cookie automatically. It's an HTTP only cookie. And it sets it with your token. So now if I go back to get customers and I send it, I can actually get the docs because now I'm logged in. And you can see all of this is totally programmatic and reusable in your own apps. Then I can finally log out, which I can hit this slash log out endpoint, logged out successfully, go back to get customers, send it again, and bam, I'm not allowed to perform the action. So you can see how much power this has. Not only is Payload a good CMS for actually managing content in websites and stuff like that, but you can build out anything you can think of and it gives you everything you need to build right out of the box. Now I want to show you one more thing. We're going to be making small bite-sized videos for every single feature that Payload offers, but something that's super awesome in Payload is the way that its access control works. Now that's different than authentication. Access control means who can see what, who can create what, who can delete what, et cetera. It's, it's basically how to control who can do what with your API. And so to demonstrate that, I'm going to create another customer. I'm just going to call this another customer at customer dot com another customer and if you're logged in as a customer you should only be able to see your own profile you shouldn't be able to see every single customer but if you're logged in as a user let's say this is like our admin users customers are our end users users are our admin users if you're logged in as one of these users you should be able to see everything but if you're logged in as a customer, you should only be able to see your own record and no one else's. So we're going to write that, and that's called access control. OK, so we're back on our customer's collection config. And you can see that I've added a new property called access. And there, I've defined create, read, update, delete. And there are a couple more of these. You can check the docs. But basically, what I'm saying here is that create Anyone can create a customer. You don't have to be authenticated. You could just create a customer account right from wherever you are. But read and update, I've set equal to a function called self or admin. And this function here is pretty simple. All it does is it takes the user off the request from an argument. And it says, hey, if this user.collection is equal to users, if it's from my user's collection, return true. They can do whatever you're asking to do. Otherwise, we're going to return a query constraint. And this is insanely powerful. Because what we're doing here is we are restricting which documents can, in this case, be read or updated. And you can only read or update documents where ID equals your own user ID. So if I'm logged in as a customer, remember, I can only read or update my own document right here, read and update self or admin. And then I just have delete, let's say only admin users can delete. Now if I go back over to Postman and I demonstrate this, let me first off just get customers. I'm not logged in right now and now I see zero customers because I'm not logged in. But if I log in as that same customer that we created, and remember we have two total collection or two total customers right now, but I'm only going to be able to see the one customer, my own. And that's beautiful. That's, that's our query constraint that we wrote. Just running this in those couple lines of code, I've restricted the access control in a really nice way. Now if I log out and go back to get customers and submit again, I can't see any customers. Access control is just super beautiful. So as I mentioned, 
Um, our plan is to start producing a lot of these bite-sized videos. This is the first one, just like a high-level introduction to Payload if you've never heard of us. But we're going to go through these bite-sized videos for each one of the features that Payload offers. So if it's hooks, which are super cool, we're going to go a little bit deeper with access control, talk about versions and drafts, preview, custom React components, localization, just every single feature that Payload offers, we're gonna do a small video on each one of those. So um, if you're new to Payload, there might be some good stuff for you to learn. Stick around this channel and you can see a lot more to come. But otherwise, we would love to know what you think about our dev first and kind of code based approach here. We think it's pretty unique and we're getting a lot of traction right now. Um, we're really, really excited with our acceptance into Y Combinator and with our um, open source move. Now we're completely free and open source. Things are looking pretty bright for Payload. And it's a good time to um, start learning what we're all about. So hopefully you like what you've seen in this video and uh, I'll talk to you soon.